I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in His presence before His precious Word. For our morning meditation today, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 24, verses 1 and 2. Be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them. For their heart studies destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. I think this counsel or the command of the Lord is so much appropriate for the saints, the chosen people of God in this present generation. God the Almighty chose the children of Israel to be a holy nation according to His divine purpose. And so God prepared His children according to His divine principles and standards. It is not easy for the people who lived among the Gentiles for so long, just like they were, for them to understand these things and change their whole lifestyle is not easy. A person who has been corrupted by the sinful nature can never understand the divine principles that God has set for His children. Take a look at the heart of the Heavenly Father. Before giving His divine law to His children, He gave them a glimpse of His glory on Mount Horeb. The children of Israel knew that the Lord God whom they serve is a holy God now, who dwells in holiness and righteousness. The children of Israel understood that they cannot stand before the holy God with their present preparation. This fled from His presence out of fear. I am not going into all the incidents. If any one of you who has not yet read the complete Bible, you can read about this incident in the book of Exodus. Almighty God wants His children to have the fear of His holiness before them, so that they may look unto Him and walk in the path that the Lord has commanded them the path that God intends for His children. They were strictly told not to look unto the people around them and follow their ways. Again and again, God reminded them that they have been delivered from Egypt to be a chosen nation, separated for the Lord. Even the king were given instruction by God. That seemed foolishness in the eyes of a worldly person. They were told not to gather horses, gold and silver, that is very much needed. And in the eyes of the world, it is so much important. They may seem attractive to their eyes, but they, strict, but they were strictly warned by the Lord to be away from them. And because God wanted to lead the nation in, in His fear and righteousness, God knew that man has the tendency to follow others who are before their eyes. The lust of sin is so attractive that man can easily fall into it if he does not have the right relationship with the Lord. That is why God does not want His people to mingle among the nations, the Gentile people around them. Again and again, God wants His people to stay away from them. It is not that God hates those people, but God wants His children to be away from their sinful, corruptible ways. You look at the scripture, it says, do not envy them. As their life is limited to this world, they just labor and try to make their life on this world a good one through different means. But in the divine eyes, this world is just a place for a few days that is preparing us for life in eternity. We have a blessed life in eternity that is waiting. I have heard murmurings of many people who complain of the good life that the Gentiles live. The ones who call themselves as believers also desire a life like them. They don't want any problems or chastening from their father. They want to have the desires of their heart to be fulfilled rather than the will of God. It proves that the eyes have not yet been opened by God to see and understand the things which God intends for them. They have never understood the mystery of the cross, where the love and righteousness of the Lord has been revealed to us. Lord Jesus Himself told us not to be like the Gentiles who have no fear of the Lord. Their path is wide and we are chosen to follow the narrow path that helps us to grow spiritually and be like the Heavenly Father. 
So these days, let us not look at the world and try to imitate them. Always remember, we have a high calling that remains for eternity. Let us not forsake the words of the Lord. Let us not desire a life like them. God prepares us through such a blessed path that changes us from the inside. Our thoughts, intentions and everything needs to be changed according to the divine nature as we are called to be with the Lord forever. Let us follow the path that the Holy Spirit God is leading us and enjoy the peace and joy of heaven. Let us enjoy the blessed presence of God in our lives. Let us always look unto Jesus who is the author of our faith. Never look unto the children of this world and compare ourselves with them. And may the Lord help us for that. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful morning. Thank you for your precious word. Thank you for your warnings. Thank you for your, for your word that teaches us. Though we have not seen you face to face, but your re word reveals who you are. Lord, with all fear and reverence, help us to walk the way you want us to walk and not envy the world. Thank you, Lord. Give us your wisdom. Help us to set the standard before the world. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.